In the past, I started seeing these to focus artifacts and saw some people discuss that on the internet. Most of the solutions are to expand the Z layer to cover more of the area, but that makes more patchwork to fix the intersection area. I encounter these artifacts again while I am updating one of my tools. So I look closer this time and share this with you about what I found in this video. First of all, let me show you all the different types of depth data we usually use in compositing. This depth pass comes from Scanline Render. Some render engines will provide the same depth data. You can find that the shorter distance will get higher value. Longer distance will get a smaller value or equal to zero. The second type of depth pass is the actual distance. You can find it under deep front or deep back. The distance value is usually more than 1, so you cannot see that's from the viewer unless the gain down the display value. The depth data in the distance unit is popular. It is because most of the calculations are calculated in distance format, and it helped to understand in visual or reading. So most of the people or studios will convert the depth value to distance, by using 1 divided by Z this formula. Most programmers avoid to divide any values by zero, so their tools will add a value check to filter those zero pixels. It is usually written in these ways. So the depth channel will look as converted to distance data. Let's try with depth data as how scanline render provided. This is the depth channel. And this is the result of ZD focus. Math is using far equal to zero. Everything looks fine here. This time I use the deep channel for my Z to focus channel. Since the data is distance, I am using direct math on Z to focus here. Everything looks fine here, just all the values need to adjust. This time I try with the inverted depth value, filtered out the zero value. So the depth channel looks like this. It is a distance data. You will find the artifacts on the edges. As I said before, people usually suggest expanding the edge to fix this kind of artifact. but you will find another glitch in other areas. Deep channel is using distance value, and the expression converts depth to distance value. So what makes the deep channel work but the expression doesn't? Let's look at the deep data and the inverted depth channel again. You will find the difference is those black areas which is how we filter out the zero value. This time, let me try to invert the depth channel without filter the zero pixels. It goes well this time, no more artifacts appear on the edge. And I don't have to fix anything. So does it mean filter zero pixels when invert depth is incorrect? The answer is no. When you inverted depth data and filter zero pixels, you should use depth math and to focus. And also in this setup, I can use the same value setting as depth channel on to focus. Only the focus plane needs change to distance value. And the results are the same. So this test tells us, when using depth math, Z to focus will revert the depth with filtered zero expression, and the process the same to focus algorithm inside the node. When using direct or far equals zero, the node will not change the depth channel provided. 
it will process directly the value we provided from the depth channel. So there is no right or wrong in the expression, it is just a matter of which math we should use on the input depth data. Filtered zero distance channels should not use direct math, otherwise we'll get artifacts and more work to fix the issue.